In our unit on exploring the earth, we will be focusing on two essential questions. How is earth a dynamic planet? And how can you scientifically describe changes on earth? Welcome to our new unit on exploring earth's interior. The scientific study of Earth, its processes, its materials, and its history is done under the field of science called the geology. Geologist is a scientist who studies Earth as well as all the processes and the history that has shaped it. Geology is special in that it is highly field-oriented science. A geologist's work is usually outdoors, sometimes in out-of-the-way places such as deserts or sparsely populated mountain ranges. Some of the most geologically interesting places in the world are also the most scenic. Students of geology can expect to find themselves working in locales that they have often wanted to travel to as well as many that they had not known of but were grateful to have visited still. Geology is a very visual science. Many problems in geology are much like solving a puzzle. A common task for students is to present a possible explanation of the events that occurred to produce the scenery surrounding them. So if you have ever wondered how a certain hill came to exist in a certain place or why a cliff or canyon should have a vivid display of colors to it or why a large outcrop of rock is exposed in a particular fashion, um, geology can help you to return to those features and figure out the answers. Once you have had an introduction to geology, you will see the world around you in a completely new light. A good place to start geology is by understanding the structure of the Earth. Our planet Earth is made up of three main layers. The core, which is further divided into outer core and inner core. The mantle, which is the middle layer and the outermost layer which is called the crust. The outermost layer, the crust, is Earth's solid and rocky outer layer. This is where we live. Uh, the Earth's crust includes both the land surface and the ocean surface. So the Earth crust is called either the continental crust or the oceanic crust. A trip through Earth's mantle goes almost halfway to the center of the Earth. The chemical composition of the mantle does not change much from one part of the mantle to another. Uh, and the mantle contains most of the Earth's mass and it is denser than the crust. The core is below the mantle and to the center of the Earth. Scientists estimate that temperatures within Earth's outer core and inner core, both made of iron and nickel, range from about 2,000 to 5,000 degrees Celsius. If these estimates are correct, then Earth's center may be as hot as the Sun's surface. The outer core is a layer of molten metal that surrounds the inner core. In spite of huge pressure, the outer core behaves like a thick liquid and the inner core is a dense ball of solid metal. Much as geologists might like to, they cannot dig a hole to the center of the earth because of the extreme conditions. The deepest mine in the world, the Tau Tona mine, which is a gold mine in South Africa, is about 3.9 kilometers deep or about 2.5 miles deep. Instead, the geologists must rely on indirect methods of observation. We will study more about these methods in our later units.